Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk, and we have today MC950, Clan Isoc, and the Manticore. Sent me a note and said that this game was inspired by the Chuckacore. Put a video out there letting you know what was going on with old Chuck and the Chuckacore lately, and inspired by we have MC950. Sent me a note, says, uh, I like this part. A replay demonstrates my evolution from complete bot to a pretty decent player these days. That is awesome. Says he's tied with four free at about the 40th place on the NA server for the Manticore win rate over the last 60 days. 64.15%. Doing better than me. <laughs> Vine Hover's uh, not near there. Anyway, although I do have the occasional awesome game, I love the Manticore. It's one of my favorite, if not maybe my favorite tank at this point. He's got it one marked. Awesome. He's got that 3D camo on it. That's from one of the, oh, I don't remember, one of the Halloween events or something like this. So he's here on Overlord. We're going to see how MC drives Manticore on Overlord. He said he had a, some 10,000 assist games and stuff. He does really nicely here. So this one, he said the Manticore can dish out the damage when it needs to. So let's see how we handle this. All tier 10 battle. The other enemy tank is a 100 LT. So he should be able to out spot and out view range the 100 LT. Ooh, we knocked down a tree right off the bat. Looks like he wants to bail out of that and not risk a blind shot. This is a tier 10 battle, so doing things like that and hanging out is a good way to get hit. So look at all the guys he just spots right here. They have no chance of seeing him. I might go after that 4005 just for giggles, but. That's me, a little over aggressive. He goes ahead and hangs out and collects his first 726 assist. Oh yeah, he wants to. There we go. There we go, I like it. And that's what I do with my scouts. I try to find those cheeky shots where I can get a shot with a very small chance of return fire. And look at the Artie is already trying to take a shot. It's a T92 HMC and he wants that Manticore dead so much that he takes one of his first shots at the Manticore. That's pretty funny. Spots the nine or the four thousand five. Looks like his team is doing a pretty good job over in the corner. He just kind of keeps everything spotted in here. This is actually a great idea. They have a lot of guys. If you look at how many purple, there's a whole line of purple right there. All their mediums and, and the four thousand five are all hanging out right there. There's a beach push of all things <laughs> going on. Fantastic. And not much in the middle in terms of we just have the VZ fifty five trying to take on a mouse with some backup with the friendly 4005 and the Stur 103B. And now MC's sort of moving around. I'm not sure where he's going, to be honest. Falls back to these buildings, is looking that way, turns the Manticore around, does a little dance. Oh, I didn't notice I was talking. Maybe the 100LT was pushing him. That is a light tank that you don't want to scrap with in your Manticore. You will lose those 1v1s against a 100LT. He fires faster, has better armor. It's just bad all around. I'm going to come up here and maybe sneak another shot on the 4005 or try to get a cheeky one. Yep, I would have been tempted to go after the 100 LT, but that was the right decision because there's probably a few more there and they'd have come up and over and taken shots at you. Is he going to do that? Nope, he gets hit by somebody taking a shot from the other side. It's the problem with hanging out where he is. He can get attacked from multiple directions. So I'm going to look to take a, another line on this guy and maybe get a shot on him. There we go, bail off the hill. I like it. And we've knocked the 100 LT down to about half hit points, that's great. Try to avoid getting goobered up with your mediums right there. In the past, you could take damage from those kinds of things. That was a big bummer. Comes right up here and spots the 4005 again. So you're gonna, oh, okay, 4005 backs off. We're up to 1200 assist. This 4005 just really wants to get shots. When you have that big gun, you really want to get the satisfaction of thumping somebody. Kind of a hard position for a 4005 to play, to be honest. He's going to have a really hard time getting up on that hill without being spotted. So at least early on. So far, though, not a great start for his team. The BZ's dead. They've lost their arty somehow. That's amazing. I guess the 100 LT saw him. I didn't notice that. But look at this, fellas. The beach push. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this. So we got the CS-63 down. If you notice that the, the line of purple on this center 
bowl right here is much thinner, so we've got guys that have fallen back, guys that have left. And to some extent, a lot of that, to some extent, a lot of that, part of that, some of that, a piece of that, is from continuing to get spotted by the light tank that you cannot see. It is very frustrating working that bowl and trying to come up if there's something like a mana core or another light tank that you get, you cannot see. They hang out in those bushes, and you can do it from either side on this map. They hang out in those bushes, and they just stop anyone from seeing anyone else. And it's a bummer, because every time you pop up, you get thumped, right? Or at least you get lit, and that's going to force you off. It looks like maybe he can work this center. There's still the 4,005. Be nice to kill that T62. His team is still a little bit behind right here, although it's showing up hit points. Oh, look, the beach push died. That's crazy, huh? Imagine that, my friends. Beach push died. I like that. I would take that shot as well. We want to try to close this dude out. We've got a 390 alpha gun, so he's one shot. And we have maintained every hit point on our tank. So, doing a nice job working around the edges, doing the scout thing. There's really nothing he was going to do to help the beach push. The beach push really doesn't require a scout. There's not a whole lot you can do right there. Is this guy going to die right here? That's be fantastic. Nice. So that 100 LT was lit a bunch. The guy had a bad game. Got absolutely murderized by the mana core. So we're going to move back to the other side of the bowl. There's still an STB. Oh, look at this. This guy's just sitting there. Boy, this guy <laughs> very nicely done. Almost 2,000 damage now. And we close out one of the more dangerous guns on the map. So... No more lucky one-shots from the old 4005. Got an STB, a T62. Oh, there's another 4005. Never mind. There's another one. He must be hanging out in the back. Down goes the 430U, and now it looks like we can move up. The only problem is there's a couple tanks on the back edge there, so we've got to be careful how we go about this. There's a Sturve as well. And I think I'd be zoomed in and looking for that shot immediately. There we go. Takes a piece of the 4005, but eats the super conch shot. Bunch of guys on that back edge. That STB is probably about the only thing keeping them from getting obliterated. The problem is the green team cannot come up on the edge there and punish the guys down below as long as the STB is holding that. The grille is about to get bombed, I'd imagine. Either someone's going to sell out and kill it, or the Artie's going to thump him because he's permalit, I believe. Oh, already took a stab and was unable to kill the 32 hit point grill. Or maybe he didn't take enough hit points. Either way, he's still alive. <laughs> There's a lot of TDs left. A lot of TDs. One of them is right here in front of him, it looks like. Unless that's the old T62 light. That's the old T62 light, I believe. So we've got one AP. I don't know, man. I think I might, I might uh, suggest you go with pure... APCR on the mana core. Oh, here we go. Get that shot on. Nice. 402. Punish that guy. Looks like we did lose the grill A. He got killed by the 268.4, which paid a large price. The STB has continued to maintain his hit points. There's the other 4005. I missed that. He's down in the pit. Now he's coming after you. There we go. A couple nice hits on the STB. Just watch as he very carefully works around the edges. Very nicely done overall, and I would agree with your assessment that uh, in the recent past you have definitely improved. Just a really nice job with the mana core. <clears throat> Think about the mana core, because it is so relatively fragile, long reload, it forces you to play like this, basically. So you look at it and go, well, I need to, I have to play like this. This is the only real reasonable way to play with the mana core. Wherein sometimes on other tanks you can get like, okay, I can take this guy or hey, I'm in my 100 LT, I've got enough DPM and, and fast enough reload, I can, I can YOLO this dude. You just, because of the nature of this tank and its strengths, you, you go into it with the mindset of I'm going to play this carefully, which can be very, very good for a scout. So there's the T62A. 
maybe come up here, uses the bush initially, and then we'll just... Oops. Okay. Oh, see, now this is... Oh, look at that. Ah, he's not paying attention. Oh, no, we're going to eat a shot. That sucks. I <laughs> missed. It's such a long reload. He may actually... Oh, he tries for the ram. <laughs> the 430. Uh, the M454. All right, so on that one, man, just... I would have come up on the edge of that bush, aimed in and shot him in the side and not pushed him, but he got away with it. As I was talking about how you don't YOLO and you play the, the mana core very carefully, naturally he YOLOs him. <laughs> but we are at the end of the game. He's got 3,465 damage, 1,616 assist, and three kills running around assassinating people. Just really nicely done overall. And you don't look at that game and go, ooh, 10,000 assist or 9,000 or a bunch of damage, 10 kills or any of that stuff. Nice ram. You got to love it. Excellent. <laughs> Make his turret have to follow you, and down he goes with Azure T62A, kills him. So, ended up with 3,612, 1,958 assists, 360 even bounced on that. So, like I was saying, that it's not a 10,000 damage game, it's not a 10,000 assist or a 10 kill or anything like that. Just a really solid, especially at all tier 10, to be north of, of 3,500 with almost 2,000 assists and three kills with the mighty mana core, man. I mean, just think about that. How dissed this tank was how hated on it was the worst light tank of all time and it is currently number one in recents on win rate easily in my opinion vying for the number one tier 10 light tank and mc 950 illustrating there uh how much he's improved and understands how to play the mana core that's really cool man thanks for sending that replay in well done on that that's all i've got Thanks for your support of the channel. We will see ya.